Yo, the freestyles on Magic Show was ridiculous. It all started with Craig G. He used to answer the phone. And anytime an artist would come, we wanted people like, yo, you know, what you got for the show? What you got for the show? So they do their freestyle. So Craig G would be like, yo, let me get on too. I rhyme. So Craig G would damn near battle everybody on the freestyles. Curtis Blow came there. Craig G was on the mic. Melly Mel came there. Craig G was on the mic. Anybody that came there, Craig G would get on the mic and rock them. Then it always, it always turned into a battle. That's how, to be honest, that's how... Craig G got so nice on that battling tip because he would go at anybody that came on our radio station like protecting his property. But that's how he got nice, you know, that's, that's crazy. Craig G was our in-house freestyler. In the early part of Mr. Magic's Rap Attack when he was on HBI before he got on BLS, Jalil used to answer the phones for him. So that's how Jalil got the deal because the deal was actually for Mr. Magic on Jive. That's why that first record was, it's all in Mr. Magic. That was Mr. Magic's record. But he felt that since he was a radio personality, he couldn't be an artist and a radio personality. But that's like, the, he would have been the first artist radio personality. You know, just years before that, Frankie Crocker got in trouble. He got in some mess over something similar to that. You know, so. What happened, Magic, he passed. He gave the deal to Jalil and them, and they became Houdini. But their first record is Magic's Wand, talking about Mr. Magic. And that was supposed to be Mr. Magic's record, but it wound up, come, come, came out to be their record. That's crazy history right there.